Hallelujah. Good day, children of God. Oh, yeah, this is Fest Man of Ministries of Miracles. I'm the elder, Lee Anthony Smith. My wife is the pastor, the prophetess, Michelle Ruth Smith. Our overseer, of course, is none other than the apostle, Martina Ashley. We give God grace and God mercy and God love to everyone who is viewing this short video. I want to take a moment today and thank the people of Powerhouse Ministry in Walterville. We just came from there. We had a revelation time, hallelujah. And we just thank God for the opportunity. Uh, she had an encouraging word today about how we got to keep on pushing. Regardless of how far behind you may think you are, keep pushing forward. Don't give up on God because he's not giving up on you. Glory to God. And that kind of remind me of something about what it is we're not giving up on. And that's salvation salvation getting into the kingdom of heaven one day where we could live with our lord and savior jesus that's what it's all about people say what race are you talking about what christian race is this that race is the things that we're doing in life we have a competition the competitor is the evil one. Oh, he wants to grab us so do jesus and we have to make the decision. That's why I decided to use Philippians 2 and 12 as the major key verse for this short topic on working out your own salvation. Because this is what he's talking about in Philippians 2 and 12. It's a lengthy verse, and I don't try to memorize it. Hallelujah, and I can't use any scripts right now while holding the camera. But he says we have to work out our own salvation mm -hmm. that means the way we're going to get into heaven what it's going to take to get there how are we going to defeat the devil when he throws money at us instead of throwing salvation at us when he throws evil at us temptation at us how do we overcome it so that we hallelujah could make it fit so that we are working out our salvation for the kingdom not for the world i'm gonna tell you the world is already set if you're working for <clears throat> what I call it anti-salvation, which is the ways of the world, then you don't have to do much. It comes natural. David fell into that trap. Once he became king, he fell deeply into that trap of doing things like the world would do it. He forgot the times he was out there in the field with the sheep. He forgot the things that he did and his salvation was intact when he was out there. But when he got into the kingdom trip, it changed quickly, drastically. And we know how the story goes. He definitely fell from God's grace, but he still had the heart of God because out of all that he went through, he loved God. His disappointment wasn't the fact that he may not get into the kingdom. His disappointment was that he was disappointed. The one that he spent so much time with over the years. The one that he loved and who loved him. The one who gave him the ability to fight off the giant and many other things in life. He felt bad that he let him down. But I'm saying today, this is how David got back into his salvation. We have to work on our salvation. And that means whatever it takes to stay in the glory of God, we have to do it. You could go to pastor, you could go to apostle for advice. That's a great thing. But eventually, it's going to be up to you. Because <clears throat> when those temptations, <clears throat> when those challenges arrive, you're going to have to be able to say, no, no way. I'm staying with Jesus. I am not going to leave Jesus because Jesus didn't leave the cross. He stayed on that cross for me. And I'm going to stay on the battlefield for him. This is the attitude we have to take to work out our own salvation. No one could do it for you. Many of us, we love to ride on other people's coattails. In other words, you holy. Therefore, I'm going to hang around you and I'm going to pick up of your holiness and that will help me get into the kingdom. No, no. Your salvation, your works, your deeds, your saying no to the things of the world, but yes to the Lord is the key to you making into the kingdom. So I pray today in the mighty name of Jesus that you will work on your salvation. Don't hand it over to anybody else. Don't depend on someone else to be there all the time when you need that assistance. This is why you got to read the Bible. 
Mm -hmm. Even more so. Don't just memorize these scripts, but go and live them. That's where your salvation becomes intact. This is where you set up your path on which way to go. Do the things that are holy, not part-time, not when you're around Johnny and them, but always. Hallelujah. When you're around the saints, you know, we love to do the holy things then. We do our Holy Ghost dance. We do shouting. We talk the holy talk. But then we get around Jamel and Jamal and Camilla and we change. Completely different. We have got to work on our salvation then because that's where temptation is. That's where the test is. That's where we could put the enemy back in his place. So I pray today that you, as a child of God, will continuously work on your own salvation. It goes on to say, with fear and trembling. Many people will interpret fear to mean be scared of God. <laughs> and no, God is a God of love. If you're doing the right thing, if you are working for God, he is there with you. There's nothing to be scared of. But that fear means respect honor look up to jesus at all times don't be afraid to come to him with your problem oh my lord oh they want me to go here and i know once we got there we was going to get drunk and we was going to do this and do that and i almost went but i didn't go you should not be afraid to take it to the lord for your strength because he is your strength. My Bible tells me we look to the hills from which come in our help. And our help coming from the Lord. So I pray today that you'll continue to work on your salvation. Don't put it in the hands of anyone but Jesus. So in Jesus' name, we thank you. You all have a blessed rest of this day. Amen. Amen. Amen.